Hey everybody out there in StarCraft World, this is Akaya. I'm bringing you a VOD based on the Terran build order that I put on Starfeeder's website earlier. If you haven't checked, it, if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out at www.starfeeder.com. Um, it's the post under the name Akaya. This is Akaya doing the shoutcasting for this game. Basically, what I wanted to do um, was walk you through the build order that I had written about um, and kind of what I did. There's some slight variations in this game that I'm going to show you here. Um, but for the most part it's the same and it turned out well for us this game we happened to pull out a win um, so anyways I'll go ahead and walk you through this right now I've got my SCVs going we're up to nine SCVs right now I'm gonna go ahead and start a supply depot here right now uh, by the way too just to let you know I got my teammate over here is the teal Terran player um, so we got dual Terrans against dual Protoss we got a red and blue Protoss up here at the top um, and we are playing this on um, uh, it's Twilight something or other. I can't remember the exact name of the map. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to all these new map names and the, and the way these are all laid out. Um, my buddy uh, Averick, whose account I'm playing on, just recently got into the beta last week. Um, he's been kind enough to let me use it while he's been busy with school. So thank you, Averick. Um, throwing down the barracks now on SCV number 11, um, which I believe I said I throw down the barracks a little bit earlier than that in the blog, but it's about the same timing. Um, and then here in a second, when my number 12 SCV comes out. We're going to start the refinery to get that going because we want to get the attachment to get Marauders as early as possible, especially since we're going against um, dual Protoss here. They're going to have a lot of Zealots initially, um, and the Marauders are very good against Zealots because their concussion grenades not only deal extra damage to Zealots, but they also slow the Zealots down, so it's very difficult for the Zealots to get close enough to your ranged Terran army so that they can actually start doing some damage. Um, and going, just checking the Protoss player bases right now, um, they're throwing down another pylon, they got a gateway coming in, some Vespine, um, and a very, very similar tech pattern here for the other Protoss player, so, um, they're basically mirroring each other right now. Um, I am getting my second barracks now, um, started that a little bit ago, um, I believe it was on SCV number 14 here, so that we can get that going. You'll notice I do have three SCVs in the, in the Vespine geyser so that I can get gas especially quick, um, because we want to get those marauders and that um tech that tech lab attached to the um, barracks early which you can see as soon as i finished that first marine i threw that down um, my teammate is going a little bit different strategy um, he's just going straight marines initially you can see he's already got his uh, command center going on um, this is a good strategy as well if if especially if you're supporting somebody else he's going to be supporting my my more heavily maraudered army um, so the extra range with his marines is going to be good um, now going back to my build order here, we've got the tech lab attached now. Started building Marauders. Unfortunately, I was a noob this game and I forgot my supply depot. So a little bit of a stop up for me there. I do apologize for looking like an idiot. But, um, you know, everybody's learning. I'm learning. It's a, it's a new game and everybody's got a learning curve. Unfortunately, I wasn't as good at StarCraft 1 as some of the people who have been posting these VODs were. So um, I got a little bit further to go. Like um, those guys like uh, Husky. Husky is, of course, an amazing StarCraft player and an amazing commentator. So big props out to him. And also I want to give a shout out to uh, Lipton. Him and the crew at Starfeeder have done a great job keeping that site up to date. I love blogging on there, and they've got a great community going on. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. Um, now going back to the build order again here, we've started cranking out the infantry. We've got a couple marauders on the way, a couple marines. Um, we're now at about 20 SCVs, so that's why I'm getting the orbital command here so that I can start calling in the mules. Um, and then also I'll have the scan for down the road because... Um, as you can see here, we've got a lot of uh, gateways coming in here, and the Protoss player is also starting to tech, um, which I think by the time that we attack them, the first time we notice that they've even got a Twilight Council in our starting Dark Obelisk, so we expect DTs out, which they never did end up coming out with, but um, having the scan was nice just in case we ran into that. Um, just a quick side note, too, these mules are extremely useful. Um, you call them down for 50 energy, and over the lifespan of a mule, um, it harvests about 300 minerals, so basically that's 300 minerals that you can harvest rather quickly um, without any additional cost to yourself other than the energy it costs to um, to actually call down the mule. Um, you will notice that the tech lab is now researching um, Stimpak, um, just under halfway done here. We want to make sure we have that. Um, and right now I've got three marauders, five marines, and there's more coming. Um, so once we get a little bit more here, we're going to go ahead and push out on the map. Um, it looks like Blue's got a pylon down here at one of the expansions near our main. Um, I'm guessing it's for a warping tactic, which I didn't see them warp any units in, so I'm assuming we hit early enough that they didn't get a chance to do that. 
Now they're throwing out a lot more gateways here. Um, this seems like an awful lot of gateways considering how early it is in the game. Um, I mean, I guess they've got a little bit higher economy, but at the same time, they're not really using it. They've got about 600 minerals and 200 gas stored up that they haven't touched. Um, and yeah, here's the Twilight Council. I scanned their base and saw that. Um, and that was what initially forced this push. There's the Dark Shrine. I'm sorry, I called it the Dark Obelisk earlier. They did change the name. It's a Dark Shrine now. Um, but anyways, this is, uh, this is when we notice what's going on and we decide to push up in the middle of the map. As you can see now, I've got four Marauders and I've got one, two, three, four, seven, seven Marines, which is right in those numbers I had mentioned in the blog. And, uh, Stimpak is just finished as well. So we get up in here, we get into the nitty gritty of it, Stimpak's going on, those Marauders are just tearing up these Zealots. Um, unfortunately my teammate doesn't have any, so he's just rocking the Marines right now. But, um... We, yeah, we walk through their army relatively quickly. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and then coming back.